Okay guys, so today we have yet another build and uh, as you can probably guess, it's it's an AMD one because we are pretty much fanboys by now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it is an AMD FX 8320 build, 8 core CPU, pretty good CPU for the price anyway. And uh, it's all going in a Corsair Carbide Spec 01 mid tower case, nice big side panel window. Uh, it'll be able to show off everything. We have 8 gigabytes of HyperX Fury RAM. And it is 1866 MHz. And we have a gigabyte 78 LMT USB 3 motherboard. Uh, of course, there's your CPU. We have an extra fan here for exhaust, as this case only comes with a 120mm intake. And for CPU, cooling we have an arctic freezer 13 co co stands for continuous operation so let's get straight into the build and uh, yeah okay, so now we're just going to prep the motherboard so first of all here are our rear io so we have a ps2 port for your for you old school people who like lag free input two usb2 dvi vga hdmi which means this board has onboard graphics a uh, USB 3, two more USB 2, uh, a gigabit LAN port, and then you have your rear audio. So, headphone, or sorry, mic, headphone, and input, I think. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the CPU. But first, this motherboard takes 24 pin, obviously, and an 8 pin. And then you have your SATAs and your everything else. So, right now, and lift up the pin. Take your CPU. You're going to look for the triangle. You want to look for the triangle on your CPU. Okay, so you're going to find the triangle on your CPU and the triangle on your motherboard. And you're just going to line those up. It's going to slot in. Now, I'll just push down. Pin, make sure it's not coming back up, and then well, make sure the CPU doesn't move. Okay, so that's how you install your CPU. It's as easy as that. Okay, so now we're gonna put in the RAM. So we're gonna pull back our pins, or our little retention clips. This is low profile RAM, which means we'll be able to put it in these two without any interference from our CPU cooler. So if we just slot this side in and this side, we should just be able to push it down. Now, I want to see, show you on the grey one here because you can see that one. There's a little slot here and there is a slot on the RAM. So we can line that up. If my hands weren't shaking for whatever reason. We can just clip it down. There we go. And that's how you install your RAM. Well, I usually give the CPUs a bit of a wipe with, with uh, some rubbing alcohol. I mean, you probably can't see it on this, but it, it is wet just around this part. So, if you just... I also like to clean the, uh, the bottom of the CPU cooler. And then, obviously, put some more thermal paste on. Alright, well, when you're buying your thermal paste, you want to just uh, put something around the size of a pea directly in the middle of the CPU well as close to the middle as you can possibly get I guess but, uh, something around that size and then I'll take your CPU cooler which way is that going to be going well the way this is going to be glowing uh, well the way the motherboard is going to be going is this bit is going to be the top, so we want to put it on so that the fan is blowing upwards because we can put an exhaust fan on the top of the case. So if I just do that and then Extremely hard to do. There we go. 
and we need to get a flat head screwdriver and take off the fan so we can screw it down. So I just pried off the fan with the flat head. As a little clip, so you just put it on and you pry it off. So now we can get our screwdriver down. Um. <clears throat> there we go. It takes a bit of a force. And now into the fan header. going to be able to see the fan a bit, the fan lead a bit over in this side, but I don't think it looks too bad, we can probably like squeeze it in, but there we go, and then we can cable tie the lead up to make it look a little, a little better later on. Okay, so now we have our uh, we have our Aeropool integrator 600 watt power supply. We more than enough power for this system. So we have all our leads. This is really really awkward to put in just because of all the leads there. Only one thing, the rubber feet are pretty good. I know we have our our screws to install this. So. Okay, so we're just going to put in our IO shield. You're going to want to just put it like that and then just push on all four corners until you hear them click into place. And then some, sometimes if you push in this one, this one might come out. So just keep pushing them all in until eventually they're staying like that. Okay, so some standoffs have to be moved around. So, this standoff here has to go up to here, this standoff here has to go to here, and this one can just come out normally. So, I have, I have my little standoff tool, and so I'm going to take these out, and you can come back to me when I have this done. So as you can see, that's done. Uh, and there is a guide standoff in the middle, so it'll just make it a little bit easier for you to put the motherboard in. So, if I just get the motherboard. Or this down. There you go. There's your guide standoff. And now we just have to get our screws. 
Well, the motherboard's in. You can see all the I.O. were in perfect. Now a little trick I do with, well it's not really a trick, it's just so you know. So this case comes with two bags of screws. Well, it comes with more screws but the other ones are for a radiator and fans. So these two are possibly for the motherboard. So what I do is I take one of each and I put them in a standoff. This is the one I took out. So by doing that, we know these are too small, they're too narrow and they're not even long enough. So the only other screws that could be are these. And they fit in perfectly. So I'm just going to take out two, four, two, four, six, seven of them. Because we have the guide, the guide uh, standoff in, you don't have to put a screw in that one. Okay, so I'm just going to put in the last standoff. We're putting the last standoff screw. There we go. As you can see, all the other ones are in. So, we can move on to the rest of the parts now. Okay, so we have our hard drive in our drive caddy. The drive caddy just kind of like, actually, I'll show you with one of these. The drive caddy just bends, well, flexes, and then goes back in and these posts here slide into the edge of the hard drive and then you just slide it back in. I wanted to put it there so that when the window's on it covers around here. You're going to be able to see the hard drive, I just think it's kind of nice to be able to see it. So um, here's the back and we can hook up our SATA once we're ready to do all cable management. And we're not going to put a, uh, an optical, uh, an optical drive in this, just because uh, not many people use them anymore. And you can get Windows and stuff on USB keys, so there's no need for the discs. Uh, so yeah, let's move on. Okay, so now, since we have our hard drive in, we can start on the rest of the interior. So here is our, our GTX 960, 2GB card. box over there. So the only place this card can actually go is here. Which means we're gonna have to take out these two slots. Okay so now we're just gonna slide in our, our graphics card. And it's in. Now we're just going to take two screws and just screw it in. Okay, so now I'm going to do some uh, some wiring. So of course you have your we have our 24 pin. Our 8 pin is up here. Uh, obviously our 6 pin, and then we have our SATAs and our our USBs along the bottom. Front I/O, uh, HD audio, everything like that. So you've seen me do this a billion trillion times. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it off camera and I'll come back to you when I have it done. Okay, so that's pretty much all cable management done. So as you can see, we have all our cables going out the 
bottom here. Uh, we have our six pin for our graphics card coming up. Now, most graphics cards take two, uh, either six pin or an eight pin and a six pin or even two eight pins. This card only takes one six pin. Now, this lead had two eight pin, well, two six plus two pins on it. So we, you had to tuck one behind and so, well, there's a dog. Uh, anyway, then, <laughs> let's just keep going. And then we have our 24 pin going up into here. That's routed all the way up to the back. Our eight pin for our motherboard. It's going out, up, behind the motherboard, just at the back here. We have to take the motherboard out, put the lead up and then put it over. Uh, that's pretty much all to do with the motherboard. Our SATA is just coming out there around and into the hard drive. You can just see it here. Uh, our SATA we have just kind of it there going there. And then our fan. I kind of wish I had it done this a little bit better but I don't think it'll be too bad. It's just coming from there back all the way back and then I have it to a um, fan to Molex adapter because this kit or this uh, motherboard only has one fan header that's one thing we have to look out for in the next build make sure the, kit, or the motherboard sorry, has more than one one fan header so now we have this fan it's an Antec fan we're going to put this on the back exhausting out and then we can hook it up to here. Okay, so our fan is plugged in here. I literally just routed it around the top and I wrapped it around here. Pretty much when you put the side panel on, you shouldn't be able to see it all up. It's not gonna look that messy. Uh, our SATA here, you can see here it's zero, one, uh, two, and three. So of course our hard drive is plugged into zero. Uh, our front I.O. we have USB 2, USB 3, uh, all our front connectors which is behind behind the 6 pin so you have your like power switch, reset switch and then we have our uh, HD audio and then that's pretty much all the cable management okay so we are going to boot this up it's in HDMI 2 we've got a few years there we go Okay, so now we have our uh, we have Windows pretty much installed. We're just gonna go through and choose whatever color we want. Uh, I'm tempted just to go with the average. Uh, the average pur purple. I couldn't get the word out. Now, uh, PC name. What are we gonna call it? I don't know. How about I know we're gonna click next. Okay. Use express settings. Here's a cat. Uh, next. Uh. Okay, so 
put I put in my email address. Just didn't want to do that on camera. And now, hi. Oh, we're getting things ready. Take a look at the new way to use Windows. That isn't very new anymore. Okay, so I'm just downloading the latest GeForce drivers. Okay. That's going to install now. I'm still doing some Windows updates. Um, other than that, I'm running Windows 8. I have to finish up the updates, get 8.1. Uh, which is a vastly better operating system in my opinion. Uh, still have to put the side pods on the computer just in case we have to do some maintenance we're leaving them off for now. And it's the only time I've ever run my screen in its native resolution which is 1080i. Believe it or not. So at least one good thing came from using an NVIDIA graphics card. Okay, so we have uh, Windows 8.1 now installed. You can tell because there's actually a start menu here. And as you can see, we got our Get Windows 10 icon. So I've kind of decided that I'm not going to wait and uh, wait for Microsoft to give me Windows 10. I'm going to go and I'm going to get it now. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome. I have this loaded up automatically. I'm going to download the tool for 64-bit version. Just keep. Yes. <laughs> see what happens oh there's something there upgrade this PC now press next progress 0% but that's sure to change at some point now it's now what 10% uh, it's moving relatively quick it's, uh, it's only been about 2 minutes since we last so show the other zero percent. Right, it's now on ninety nine percent. Uh oh there we go, hundred percent. Hooray. Windows preparing nineteen percent, twenty percent, twenty two percent. The numbers just keep going up and up. didn't take as long as I thought it would to be honest. I was expecting to be sitting here for over two hours. Okay, so this is moving pretty fast. In fact, every time we film something, we put the camera down and a new thing pops up. So, okay, so, here we go. I just usually scroll down the bottom. Just to make sure there's no little clicky things. Because I don't like Bing. And I don't want that. As my main search engine. And I don't want an Ask Jeeves toolbar. Alright, so it's now ready to install, uh, so obviously I want to install Windows 10 Home, and I definitely want to keep my personal files and apps. So, install. Your PC will restart several times. This might take a while. It looks that way. It's actually going quite fast. It's been about 30 seconds since it was on 0%, so. 
Yeah, this won't take as long as I actually thought it would. Alright, let's go. Uh, PC is about to restart now in a minute. And in comes the cat, obviously, because he has to be in every single video. Now, it's restarting. There we go. That's just what comes up at the start when you boot up the computer. That's nothing bad, don't worry. Well, now we're on this screen. And it's still saying our, uh, our PC will restart several times. Now this is going, well, it seems like it's going to take quite a while. It actually tells you what's happening as well. Copying files 5% and then overall it's 1% so that's not going to be good. Okay so it's after restarting once. Installing features and drivers. Should we go up? There we go. Altogether, it's at 32%, and we'll come back to when this is almost done. Okay, so uh, the installing features and drivers is now at 38%, and altogether we're at a uh, we're at 47%, and the cat's hitting a bag. So. Yeah, we're almost uh, we're almost halfway there to having all the drivers and whatnot done. The uh, the features and drivers uh, are now done. We are at seventy five percent. So all left to do is to configure the settings. Ninety seven percent. We're almost done. And it's all done. I click next. Okay, so I'm going to click on use express settings. For the new windows. Next. He's already, I can see. I need to do some more, some more scaling. Ooh, that's nice. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. Hi there. We're setting things up for you. You can probably read it. I just like reading it out myself. This is not just the um, just the on the screen. There is stuff there. You can just barely see it there. There's the Steam logo. See, updating Steam and stuff. So I need to do some scaling. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, so now I'm just getting the new uh, GeForce Windows 10 driver.
Okay, so now it's it's installing the graphics driver. My finger keeps getting in the way. Um, so yeah, let's get all these drivers, and hopefully then we can uh, fit the resolution properly, scale it with the uh, the uh, Nvidia scaler. Cannot continue. Mm. Okay, well I'm just gonna scale this so it actually fits on the screen. There we go. And this one should go down there as well. So 1080i, which is like that, which is strange. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep that. Close, go to display settings. Hopefully I'll be able to choose this and click apply. Keep. Yay! It's finally scaled properly. Well, that's a really nice computer built. Windows 8 installed, updated, installed 8.1, 8.1 updated, now installed Windows 10, Windows 10 updated, and now every driver for our GTX 960 is installed. There's Cortana. Um, so yeah, well I'm going to be putting this up for sale now in the next hour or so. So if you are living in Ireland, uh, make sure you check out AdWords because you want to buy this. You want to.